All right, there we are. We're live. We're live on a Thursday at 6.30. Welcome. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I'm Tamara Bertram coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I'm going to wait a few minutes, let a few people pop in as this is not my usual day or time. But uh, before I put all of my new toys away, I thought I would do a quick live um, and just show you some of the new goodies in the 2024 annual catalog. I can't show you pictures of the inside of the catalog, but I can show you the product once I get it. So um, that's what we're going to do tonight. Now, hold on one sec while you're popping in. Hi, Sonia. While you're popping in, I'm going to turn off my heat so I don't melt to death. And if you hear a crash, it's because I'm tripping over boxes of my new product. So hang on. Let me turn off the heat. Okay. It is cold as the North Pole down here today. I, um, it's been so nice upstairs that the heat doesn't come on. So in the basement, you freeze. So I actually have two hoodies on on top of my shirt and the heater going and all the things. But once you get down here for a while, the, the lamps and the lights, they start uh, warming things up and then I get all excited. And yeah, anyway, okay. So who have we got in the house tonight? We've got Joy, we have Sonia, Tracy, hello. Tracy, I think you did a live last night, didn't you? Um, and Sherry and Leanna, Leanna, I just got your message. Where's my bell? Where's my bell? Let's do a round of applause for Leanna. Yay! Just got a new recruit. Fantastic, well done. Close to my heart. Uh, the makers are out there and they're looking for a home. And we're so glad when you come over to Stampin' Up. Uh, we're going to be a great, great, um, great fit with makers. Uh, the Close to My Heart scrapbooking company. Um, yeah, Stampin' Up is taking over a number of their lines. And yes, Heather. Heather is like 6.30 of my time. Yes, I'm live now. Let me just go into here. Um, anyway, yeah, so Stampin' Up is taking on some of the Close to My Heart makers. Uh, yes, live now. Um, and so we're really excited when, uh, I just got, uh, Tammy just joined my team and she was a maker and I am thrilled to have a maker on my team. We, um, scrapbooking is not something that I have done and nothing, well, I know that's a lie. I did some memory keeping when we had the memory and more. Hi, Carolyn. Some of the memories and, uh, what was it called? The pocket pages through... Well, now it's called Memories and More. What was it called? Um, Project Life is what it was. And so I did have a club back back in the day, but um, I'm excited to learn a lot about, about scrapbooking and um, and all that stuff. So sorry, I'm doing three things at once. So there we go. Hopefully people are finding me. So let me see what we got. I'm going to change my glasses. How about that? I discovered, for those of you who follow me, I'll just, I've discovered these glasses I thought were the same prescription as my other glasses. Yeah, no, they're not. And <laughs> so <laughs> these ones are great for driving. Um... And what I used to wear for driving, my eyes changed over time. So now my old driving glasses are computer glasses. And I thought, well, these are the same prescription. No, these are proper driving glasses. And so I, I never know. I never have the right glasses on where I want. I'm going to have to go back to put them on my head. So there's Linda. And now I can read. Hey, Sharon's in the house and Sheila, Kathy, all the people. Hi, Penny. Hello. So we've got a few. we got 19 eyes. This isn't going to be terribly long because um, if you've been around Stampin' Up! at all, uh, you know, for a year or two, you'll know that when it comes to the annual catalogs, we don't get to pre-order all of the things. Oh, did I freeze? Am I okay for everybody else? Generally, that's on your end. I think I'm still hooked up to Ethernet. Uh, maybe it's on my end. Um, shows that I'm on Wi-Fi and I'm hooked up. So I should be okay. Everybody else good, I hope? Um, anyway, when it comes to the annual catalogs, we only get to order select items. Generally speaking, hi Kathy, hi Brenda, Amy, we, uh, Marcella, hello. We get to order most of the in color products, uh, barring this time we didn't get to order the reinkers. And I think that happened one other time. We didn't get to order the reinkers. So we get 90% of the in color stuff, uh, cause we're all itching to play with new colors. And then we get a smattering of stamp sets and bundles and ribbon and that sort of thing. So I don't have a ton of stuff to show you. Um, and I've actually done a second pre-order because the first go around, I thought, no, I don't need that. And then subsequently I went, oh, you know what? I have to run a class with that. <laughs> so once you've looked at it a few times, which I hadn't done when it came down to, um, 
to placing my first pre-order, I, I think I've mentioned a few times, I had looked at the catalog like twice for a grand total of about four minutes. So I just went in quickly with the yay, nay, yay, nay, yay, nay. Maybe, but it can wait. And, uh, but I, I've, I've planned my classes and one snuck in there that surprised me. So it's not my norm. Push me out of my comfort zone a bit, but anyway, there's a few people in the house now. It's 6.35. This won't go too, too long, except that you know me, right? I don't really keep anything too terribly short, but anyway. Okay. So I'm not frozen for Kathy. All right. Um, let's just dive right in to, let's just see what I, let's start with the in colors. Okay. Cause we've seen some of the in colors. Maybe I should, uh, Put all my cameras on. Let's do that. There we go. All right, let's see where I'm in the field of vision. Here we go. So you've seen the ink colors, I'm sure. I have posted them. Most uh, most demonstrators around the globe have posted them. So you're sh surely going to be familiar with the colors. We've got peach pie. This is a new basic beige. It's not an ink color. It's just a new something. That's a, that goes into the new... Is that, oh, oh, that's going into the new, the mix of neutrals, isn't it? Forever. I don't even know where the pages are. Oh, I have to mark up my calico. I don't know. Anyway, let's just call that a new neutral. The basic beige. I did, Linda. I just ordered it because that's the secret class. Not the secret class. That's the class I'm doing that I didn't think I was going to get that set right away. Um, but now that I've looked at it, I thought, you know what? I want a set to do masculine cards. But when I, when you look at that, there is a lot of versatility in that. It's not just for the guys. Yes. With the basics. I think, oh, is that what? Oh, thank you, Tracy. Because not the neutrals. Ugh, Tracy knows so much more than I do. The basic beige is in with the black, white, and vanilla. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Chris Stones from Australia is in the house. Hello, Chris. Give a shout out to Chris. Um, right. Back to in colors. Petunia Pop. Pretty in pink. And I have heard uh, and I've seen... People pull out their old pretty and pink cardstock and it is virtually identical. Um, so some are saying, no, it's not. But I saw a photograph where they were virtually identical. So I'm going to go with, yes, it's the same color. We have Shy Shamrock, which is a very bright green. And Summer Splash, which is a bluey, tealy summer other there. So those are the six new inks that I've got. Now, while I got you here, I'm going to show you. So I spent some time this, after, this morning, um, this afternoon, Put it all the stickers on my, on my, um, yeah, Zana, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good one. I'm, I'm excited to play with that plain set and I'll show you the paper, but I don't have the bundle. It will be mailing soon. There, the shipping is a little behind because all of us demonstrators now are like hot and heavy into ordering. So it's coming, but who knows when it'll get here. So I want to show you how I label my ink pads. So when they come, they're in cello, in, they're in cellophane. Um, sometimes they do leak. It's been known to happen, and that's why they're in cellophane. If they're in the box like this, don't ever, don't ever store your ink pads on the side, ever. Because over time, the ink will run down the pad, and it'll leak all over everything. And it's been known to happen in our ink pads, yeah? Okay. So, oh, Heather, did you? So, you open up the cellophane, and on the back, there are all these sticker sheets. This is what Tamara, I love, I love new catalog day, because I get to play, I get to play. So, I start by... Peeling off the uh, the labels on the back. And this is what I was doing while I was listening to some sort of webinar today. And so I'll peel this off and I'll throw this away. You could use that for something, I'm sure. Not me. Nope. Okay, throw that in the trash. All right, so then I've got these stickers. So this first one is in English, peach pie. And I put that right here on the front. And I love stickers. As I love stickering as much as I love um, coloring. And so I was in my glory yesterday when I spent about five hours putting stickers on all my catalogs. Okay, that's totally crooked and that's going to bother me. So let's try that again. We're going to put that on like that. Then the second one I put on the other end. Now, this isn't quite as important now that I'm not running in-person classes, but this was very important when I had people in my house. And if you've got ink pads all lined up on the desk like this, what color is this? You have no idea. Is that pink? Is that yellow? Is that peach? What is that? So I like to use all of these stickers so that we all know what color they are. At any, at any position in the table, wherever you're sitting, you're going to know what color it is. 
whether the pad is open or closed, you're going to know that this is the peach pie. So then I take this one off and I put it over here. Actually, I should have these, the peach pie. This is in English. It should go on the other end. I've got the French on the other end. You know, being Canadian, we should all be able to speak French. We don't. We can't, especially in the West. We suck. We suck. The last one is just plain. And that one, I open up the pad and I put it right in here. Sometimes it takes me two or three goes to get it straight, but that's all right. And again, so this is, if somebody's at your station or if you've got three or four ink pads open on your own desk, you'll be able to see, okay, this is peach. When it's open, there's no denying. You got peach, 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 peaches everywhere. So that's how I label. And then this drives me crazy. So this comes off too. And it's just wax paper and I peel that off. And this is like the most gratifying part of my day today. <laughs> so there we go. There are our ink color. Inks all labeled, ready to go. Don't ever store them like this. Uh, those of you who went to on stage, you got a, um, a tote that looks like a lunchbox. It's actually to carry all your stuff and things to parties and to crops and that. And there's an insert where all your ink pads can go like this. I just about died when I saw Brian Pilling show these things in like this. I'm like, oh my God, they're going to leak everywhere. Don't do that. They have to lay flat, you guys. They have to lay flat. Front inside, you can spot which one belongs to me when you have a yes, when there's others there. Good idea. Is that a, yep. Yes. So there you go. There are our ink pads. Now, to go with those, somewhere in my box, my magic tickle trunk of new products, we shall have the markers. These I want to say are $25, but I don't know. I think that sounds about right. Now, I don't want to break a nail. My nail polish is about to peel off. It's starting to lift. And so if I catch it on something, it's going to rip off my entire nail. This is almost two weeks old, you guys. This one, I'm pretty excited starting to chip though. Uh, I did them last uh, two weeks ago Saturday. Okay, what's happening here? All right, so these are the markers. Why am I showing you the markers? I don't know. I can't get them out. It's not going to end well, you know that. Okay. All right, so these, I'm just showing you the markers. Again, a little bit of Tamara's tips as we go along here in case you've never watched me before. Um, the markers. So here they all are. They have the felt end, the, um, the brush end, and the bullet end, like the journaling end. And you can tell which is which because the fat line is your fat tip. And your skinny line, the journaling one, the thin line, is your other end. Okay. And the ink, you always want to store these ones lying flat because this, this um, chamber in here, it feeds the ink to both tips. So you don't want to, if you had it this way, this is going to be dry over time. So you want to lay them flat when you store them. Pretty. Uh, Heather, if you paid $1.93, you did. Uh, I think you probably did. If not, it might not be too late. Tracy can confirm. She knows all. She's smart. Okay. Now, these are all out of their bags because I've been using them this afternoon already. So here are all the blends in the same colors, the ink colors. And you've got the dark and the light. And I have to see if Chicken Scratch has the little tops, little toppers that I like to use. These, so that I can tell what they are. Focus. Anyway, I need the little stickers. I need these little things to be printed out. There we go. So I have to check on Chicken Scratch. Oh, well, look at that, Diane. You learned something new. It took me, I had uh, been a demonstrator for many a year before I found that tip. Oh, I'd been, it'd been five, six, seven, a whole bunch of years before I found that one. So that's on the markers and on the blends. So same thing on the blends. You know, this is how you take the lid off. If I ever catch you going like this, I'll skin you alive. You don't ever want to do that because a lot of times the alcohol is so juicy that it will go flying and it'll ruin your project. So never pull the cap off. Always hold it like this, push on the three dots and gently remove it. And then I always give it a shake in my hand or over my garbage can to make sure that the ink isn't going to go flying. And it happened just the other day uh, where the ink was, it was so juicy. And because it's alcohol, it'll, it'll stain your paper and it'll ruin it. So anyway, I've been playing with these today. And so, yeah, you've got the brush end and the bullet end. Okay, skinny line, fat line. Now you know. 
193. All right, Linda, so you've got all the stuff coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are all the in color blends and markers. Now, moving on to all the ribbon. One, two, three, four. I'm missing one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, there better be another one in here. One, two, three. I am missing the uh, the summer splash. Hopefully, it's at the bottom of the box. But I haven't seen how these tie. So let's have a little gander together. I only pulled out. Wait till I show you the card I made today, you guys. I'm so stinking excited about it. I can't even tell you. It's actually the first card for one of my classes that I have set. I have been on fire. Uh, doing all the things in the last week and a bit. So um, anyway, okay, so this is the 3 8 inch bordered ribbon in all of the in colors and in the basic beige. So let me just see how that ties. It looks pretty malleable. I think it's okay. It's soft. Yeah, it's going to tie nicely. Yes, it will. It's not too stiff. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yes, there you go. So yes, for the extravaganza, you're getting a fifth of a roll of the ribbons too. Okay, let's untie that. So, okay, the ribbon is nice. Those are all the in color ones. I'll put those over here now. Don't have to undo them all. Now, there's one other ribbon that we were allowed to purchase. <laughs> Excuse me. Petal pink and white diagonal trim combo pack. I do what I can, Heather. I do what I can. Oh, these are pretty. Okay, so again, when you go to get this white cello off, it can be tricky. If you can, you want to get in there and squeeze. No, this one's not going to be so helpful. You want to get your scissors under that, and if you can squeeze the ribbon, it kind of pops up. But this one's not. It's too far down. Mm -hmm. Where's the end? Is there an end? I can't see the end. Okay, I'll try it again. You want to get... You want to cut the ribbon. There we go. So this is a combo pack. Pretty... Pe petal pe pretty and pink? What is this? What did I say? Petal pink. So that's our other... Okay, stop it. Petal pink. Oh, I like that. It, okay, quarter inch, right? Yeah, quarter inch. Diagonal. Pretty. It's got a bit of a sheen to it. Let's see if I can tie that okay. It'll it'll be well, no, it's not too bulky. No, 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 it's not bad. Yeah, I'll use that. You betcha. Mm-hmm. So that's a two-pack. So this is uh these are all ribbons that I'm also doing in my ribbon share. Um, and I'll show those all in a minute. Well, I won't show you what's in them because I can't. I can't show you the inside of the catalog. I'll go to jail. I'll go to Stampin' Up Jail. I'll get in big trouble. Okay, so uh, still with our in colors, let's just look at the papers where it ended up with double items with Country Wood Sweet. Well, you've got two of the Country Wood Sweet. So, Linda, if you, um, when you go to order, you can order a sweet, and then you can also order the stamp set and dies. So I've done that before where I've made a mistake, and I ordered the sweet, and then I didn't realize it, and then I ordered the bundle as well. So check your order. Maybe you paid for two. Like, I don't know. But anyway. All right, so I just chopped up the paper. This is the basic beige. And I did a graphic on my um, on my page a while back, uh, a week ago or so, showing kind of where these colors fall in comparison to our other colors. So this beige, this is going to go really nice with the crumb cake. Let me just show you my crumb cake. It's going to pair really nicely with that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Okay. All right. Thank you, Tracy. Okay. So these are all the papers. So that's everything for in color aside from when I get to the, um, <coughs> oh, pardon me, the designer paper. So I need more box. What's that? I don't need to see all this stuff. Let's just like, now I got to find room. Oh, the struggle is real. You guys. Okay. I don't want to throw it on the floor. I have a couple spaces left in here. I'll just check them all in here. How about that? I'm going to run out of cubbies here because I might have just ordered 10 more packs of paper and 15 more packs of envelopes because I don't want to pay more next month. All right. What else have we got? 
stuff things. Got stamp sets. Mm -hmm. No mistake. Well, Linda, yay for you. Oops. That's excellent. You can give one to a friend. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's a long way down to this box. Oh, stop it. Things are falling. Okay, let's. You'd think it'd be a little bit more, but no, you wouldn't. You know me better than that. I was very proud of myself, though. I came down at like two, two o'clock, maybe. Maybe it was noon. I don't know what time it was. And I opened my stuff, and I needed to make a card for my tutorial that I'm in. Oh my gosh, it's a long way down. I made the card, I took the pictures, I wrote up the tutorial, I posted it, I mailed it off, I emailed it, like I did all the things in like two hours. The product that I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you the card, but you know, when you get on an idea and you got the, all the toys, it just, it comes together so easily. And these, I love these products that I got so far. <sighs> all right. I need to calm down. See, I'm getting all I'm getting all crazy excited again now. Look at all the things. Okay. Let's look at some paper here. And then I can get it off my desk. I don't even know how much. Look, I've got two of the same one. What is this? This is okay. All the things. So, um, I need to what do we need to do? Hang on. I need to I need tissue. Okay. Now, the back. All right. Okay, where are we at here? We've got here, let's look at the in color papers. So these are the 2024. Oh, it's my husband. Noise. 2024, 2026 in color papers. So I just want to look at these patterns because I haven't even done that yet. I haven't looked at them up close and personal. So this is the pretty in pink. And you get four sheets of each pattern. So in my paper share, you're going to get two of this because you get one of each pattern. So, but that's what I'm not doing in the paper share, but, um, the extravaganza people are getting some of this stuff. So these are all the same patterns. She said confidently. Okay. Yes. But in the different colors. So there's peach, the pretty in pink, the shy shamrock. Got to practice the names of these, the petunia pop and the summer splash. Okay. And then the opposite sides. So if you don't want crazy leafy patterns, these ones are always subtle. I mean, they're great for birthdays cards, like just your generic. So those are the in color 2024, 2026 designer series papers. Now I don't know that they usually offer two different in color embellishments. Do they? I don't know, but looky here, look what we got here. We've got Two different 2024, 2026. I do two, Sydney. The other ones, oh, what's happening here? The other ones um, last year I didn't love. They were okay. I didn't love them. These ones I'll use a lot more. But here we've got some resin dots. Now, okay, why are you doing that? Did it just glitch? Something just happened. Um, these are already on out of stock until May 13th, I think. The resin dots. I kind of love these kind of love them. They're flat enough that they're not going to bulk up your postage and they're sticky on the back. Now these are a glimmer gem, shimmer gem in all of the color. One, two, we yeah, got one, two, three, four, the five colors as well. These are really pretty. So I thought I would have thought these would have sold out first. So these are in color embellishments. Those go in the box. These are not those. Okay, why is my fan running? Okay, do I have any other in color stuff? What is this? This is 2024-2026 in color glimmer paper, 12 by 12. But I think it's only three of the colors. Peach, oh no, wait. Peach pie, petunia pot, pretty and pink, shy shamrock, and summer splash. Oh, but maybe you only get one of each. There's something weird about these ones. Okay, not weird, but different. I think you only get one sheet of each. Yes, one, two, three. Correct. So, summer splash. Nope. Yes, shy shamrock. Oh, that is shamrocky. If I had that shamrock punch, mm, oh, that's beautiful. Petunia pop. And the great thing about this is the glitter stays on and it's not coming off. Craig will be pleased. 
Oh, this nail is going to lift right off, you guys. The nail polish. It's not even the nail. It's just the polish is going to come off. Okay. What else have we got for in colors? Anything? Nope. Let me show you, though. I've got, apparently, two of the gold. These are, oh, these are the textured metallic papers. Now, when, when it comes to my metallics, when I open this, I don't like this sticky stuff floating around my metallic. So I just kind of tear this tear this cellophane a little bit and fold it over on itself. Nobody wants sticky nastiness on their foils. So there's another Tamara's tip for you. Now these are textured ever so slightly. Gold. It's probably supposed to be silver, but it looks purple and a copper. Oh, can you see the texture on that? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Okay. So that's those. This is not in my paper share. This is not my paper share. The glitter paper is not my paper share. Those are specialty papers. The only thing in my paper share are um, what are deemed designer series papers. Uh, there are, if you have your catalog, you'll know there is one that I was going to include. I can't show you the inside of my catalog. Let me just tell you what it was because I thought, oh, it's beautiful paper. I can't include it in the, in the share though because of the way it's going to cut. Uh, there are sticker, there's a sticker sheet and it's 12 by 12 and whatever it's called. I don't know now what it's called. Okay. Don't look, you can't see. All right. Let me just see. But there was one that was really nice and you can't have it in the paper share. Don't know. It doesn't matter at this point in time, I guess. Not the ducks. Not that one. Well, I'll show you what's, what is, what it, what it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's focus on what we can share you. Uh, this one is, I cut the side and then leave the sticky flap intact. Huh. Okay. Why do you want the sticky though, Kathy? I don't understand. I don't want the sticky to stick to anything that it's not supposed to. Okay. This paper is part of the country woods or country birdhouse or country something sweet. And it's beautiful. It is lace, country lace. I'm dying for this one. This is so beautiful. I love it. I love, I love everything about it. The texture, it just, it looks like fabric. It looks like lace. It's boho. Look at that, that soft. Oh, I just think it's beautiful. So this is one of the papers in my share. In my share, you get 156 six by six sheets. And I've listed, actually, let's just take a look at the blue. So here's my graphic. You know what? And I did this yesterday and I printed out 25 of them and I did all the things. I chopped them up and then I found a mistake. I had to redo the whole stinking thing. So you might have noticed. Huh, didn't Tamara post that? And oh, she posted it again. Yeah, it's because I made a mistake. I had to reprint them all. The whole thing made me very, very angry. And I'm locked out of Facebook upstairs on my upstairs computer because despite having my password book and knowing all of my passwords, I locked myself out and it won't let me back in for um, 24 hours to make sure it's me. I don't know how hackers do it. I've got my password book. I'm like, this is what even Google says my password is. <sighs> Computers and I yesterday were not getting along. Okay, this one is in my paper share. This is called Unbounded Beauty. Hello, Jennifer. Yeah, I know hockey. I understand. I actually watched part of the game yesterday with my dad. I went to the, so dad was transferred back to um, Miller Crossing. Okay, see now there's sticky stuff on my nail and I'm distracted. Um, so he was supposed to be moved from the hospital back to Miller Crossing uh, two days ago, but it didn't happen until yesterday for a variety of reasons. And so I went up uh, when he got there and we watched the hockey game. <coughs> he doesn't remember that. He was, he was in quite a state, actually. He was, um, he was very confused and rightfully so. He didn't know where he was, how he got there. He didn't remember being in the hospital for two weeks. So I distracted with hockey and I enjoyed it because I don't get cable. So I don't get to watch hockey ever. Look at these. This is the unbounded beauty. And there, these are all the in colors, right? The peach, the petunia, the splash, the shamrock. So that is in my share. Yep. 
Yep, there are lots of cards already out there. People who went on stage got to order stuff two, week, two weeks before we did. So a lot of people have had this stuff for weeks already. Okay, this is Thoughtful, thoughtful Design, specialty designer paper. So this is not in my share. So this is another one that I'm just going to go like this, fold it over, stick it to itself. And this is really, it's, it's ombre. Like the, I was going to include this in the share and I thought, well, how do I cut that? One person's going to get this color. One person's going to get that color. The whole thing isn't fair. So again, there are five sheets and uh, they're all ombre. So that's really pretty. Not in the share. So I got two of those. Then, okay, we've already seen this one. Sorry, just jump, jumbled you around. Okay, there's another one of the lace. And here's the airplane one, and I guess I only got one. This one, too, is kind of hard to do in a paper share because of these tags. What I do, though, is I cut them, and then I make sure that everybody has, you know, a, the equal number of, of things, but we're limited. So I have to get a little bit creative when I do my shares when they have pages like that. And these pages can drive me crazy. Unbounded Beauty is the bundle. Yes, ma'am, Linda. Oh my God. You guys, I lost my mind today when I when I got my hands on those dies, these dies, let me tell you. You need these, you need these. Okay, so this is the airplane uh, adventure sky, uh, take to the sky designer paper. So you get two sheets like this a map so these are great you know for masculine cards but the sentiments in the stamp set are going to be very good for grad or just you know you always lift me up you know me uh a stamp set like a card has to make sense like i'm not going to say you lift me up and have a picture of a gerbil like that makes no sense but you lift me up with a picture of an airplane that makes more sense to me right it has to make sense well, that was fun. So there are the paper, you know, you can use if you're not into airplanes, that's fine. The backs are beautiful. Oh, I'm glad, Heather. I'm glad. I uh, I want to push myself. I want to get a lot more masculine cards. I've got some for golf and that sort of thing. But, um, I don't know, girls like planes too. But anyway, so it'll be double duty. Like these are, I love these patterns. Okay, so that's the Take to the Sky designer paper. That is part of my paper share. Now, other one here, some six by six. This is Thoughtful Journey, more sceneries. And there are, I'll show you, there's a stamp set coming up called In the Grove or something about a grove. And these are gonna be gorgeous with that. Uh, so all of the six by sixes, and there's quite a few of them in this catalog, ask me how I know, doing my paper share, where you get 48 sheets. Like that's a lot. So you're getting four each of each pattern. So you're getting a lot. So in the paper share, you're getting 24. You're going to get this piece and you're going to get that. Like you're going to get two. Right. And so this is, this is the pack, like beautiful scenery. And then the other side is, well, it's scenery two or just splotches. Cool. Very pretty. You can do so much with these. I mean, this is the, this is about the fourth set like this that we've had paper that you can do various things with right oh i love that beautiful beautiful okay you lift me up and make me laugh <laughs> sydney mission accomplished <laughs> i don't know if i've been extra funny lately or if my family is going as do lally as i am i had alicia in stitches the other day and i'm like what like am i being extra funny she's like you're such a moron <laughs> I know Craig was cracking up the other day. I'm like, he's like, you really are out there. You're one quirky gal, he says. But Okay, so, okay, you guys. We have a new line. And this is going to marry really well with the scrapbooking and the Close to My Heart stuff that's coming. And it was just coincidental because the Close to My Heart thing just happened recently. Well, these catalogs, these were, this, everything was brought together like years ago. Like years ago, they've, they've started on this, right? So we have this new stuff. Oh, here's another one of the six by six paper. So these are called um, the Cards and Envelopes, Sunny Springs Cards and Envelopes. And this one is called Calming Creek Cards and Envelopes. And then we have, correct me if I'm saying it wrong, Ephemera Packs. Not Ephemera. I think it's Ephemera, right? Something like that. I don't know. This is not the first... 
pardon me, it's not the first batch of ephemeras that we've had, but they're the first ones that I've really, really, really liked. Hi, Sandy. Hello. Thanks for popping in. So these are essentially stickers and they're pretty awesome. When you see the catalog, so if you've seen the new catalog, if you're a demonstrator, you've seen the new catalog, you'll know, holy Hannah, the layout is completely different. What the heck are they doing? It, like, it's like, it blows your mind just how different it is from our usual catalogs. Um, but it's such a good resource now. And they've got pages of samples using these ephemera packs. And this one in particular, I love it's It's called saying something and they're words. So this is such a great item to have, um, if, you know, for when you have the grandkids over or new stampers to get them into just a little taste. If you're running card classes or anything, just a little taste of stamping without the stamping. It's stickering, really. Let me just open this because it would like, look at, oh, I thought they were stickers. Okay. Well, they're not, but it's okay. They're, they're like pre, we used to have things like this that they were pre-cut before. I thought these were stickers. Okay. Well, we got glue. We got glue. It's okay. So like, boom, hip hip hooray. Like you've got, oh, okay. These are very delicate and now I'm scared. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get a stamp case. <clears throat> this is where they're going to live now. All right, you guys know that we sell the standard stamp cases. You take one of these, and this is where they will now live. So that they don't get mangled, destroyed, trashed, thrown away, inky. They're going to live in here. They fit perfectly. And this is great then if you're going to a crop, or if you're going to a girlfriend's house, or if you're going to a coffee shop to make cards. They can just live in your stamp case. This one's going to go in here. Okay, so this is the idea, and they're quick and easy. So here are your card bases. Okay, the, this actually doesn't, the cardboard doesn't fit in very nicely. It's okay. I'll just put this in here so I know what it is. Um, so you've got your card bases. <clears throat> Pardon me. And you can just mix and match. You just, boom, slap on the, the die cut, and boom, you get a card. Okay, so this is a whole new light. And they're only like, I want, they're 11, I know this, they're $11 each for each of these stickers. Um, I'll say 11, but I make things up. Uh, you get, they're $11, yeah, and how many do you get? Five, five cards and five envelopes for five bases. Okay, so there you go. Like this, you're going camping, boom, grab all this, you're good to go. Okay, all right. Messed up on the time. Thought I would be early. Oh, Dee Dee. <laughs> nope. It's 7.08 here. Okay. Um, okay. What else have we got now? Let's get into this stuff. Okay. Let's do some embellishments. Then we'll get into our stamp sets and then we're done. All right. What have we got here? We have adhesive back pearl trio. So I have two of those. Those are pretty. Nice and shiny, pretty. Iridescent-y. Okay. Oh, more people. Oh, hi. Carol, how are you? Pre-order. Yes, yes. You, I would, I would, I don't know. I, you're a better woman than I am, Carol. I'd be going stir crazy. Yeah, I'd be making my husband make cards. No, no, put that there. No, no, over a little bit. No, no, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Okay, these are uh, basic gray and smoky slate pearls. Wow, I love these. You know I love when there's different sizes. Some embossing folders. Check out these bad boys. Okay, this one. <clears throat> Look at the size of these monsters. I was going to say something else. I started with an M, but okay. The Eyelet 3D embossing folder. This was part of the country suite, and it can't. Oh, it's going to be so pretty, you guys. It matches the paper. I bet that this would emboss the paper. I bet that the pattern. I bet. Should I look? Should I see? Let's see together. Let's, hang on. Let's see if this matches up with the pattern. What a bet, what a bet, what a bet, what a bet. Would it do this pattern? Let's see. Uh, maybe if I turned it, probably not. Oh, what's this one? Nope. Uh, I'd be really excited. No, nope. too big. Oh, well, now I'm sad. I was pretty excited. Well, maybe, 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 baby. 
So you could emboss the paper with the embossing folder just for some extra texture. Let's see. Oh, do I win a prize? I don't. I don't win a prize. Nope. Well, they should have. They really need to consult me more. Just saying. All right, boo. Okay, well, anyway. Embossing folder. It's all like 3D. Okay. Now. Okay. Ah, oh, Kathy. There's no hockey tonight. Okay, look at this one. Look at the size of this son of a biscuit. Look at him. He's massive. Where's my... Here. Look. So these are our... Whoa. Where's our biggest ones? These are the biggest ones we have, are like six by six. Look at these. Woo! They're monsters. Are they six by eight? They're ginormous. They are six by eight and a half. The size of that. This will go really well with our scrapbooking because, wow, it's not 3D. It is, but look at this one. It's pretty. It's like the size of my hand. And I have long fingers and then some. Okay, that one, so swirly, love it. Okay, yeah, this one, something about dots. What is this? Uh, dotted circles. Makes sense, there's circles that are dotted. <laughs> okay, let's open this. Oh, that's gonna give some good texture. Yep. Oh, I just wanna play, but you know what happens when I get this many, when I get, a box with this many um, products, I get overwhelmed and I can't craft fast enough and I end up with nothing and I get discouraged. <laughs> okay, let's get into some stamp sets. Now I'm going to start off with a couple things here. Okay, so paper share, you guys. So the links, if you're in Canada, I have links all over the place. It's in my newsletter, it's in this page, but it's probably been pushed down already. So my paper and ribbon shares, uh, plug for those. Paper share, $80. Ribbon share, $40. So yes, $120. If you get both, you're going to get two packages of embellishments. They're $11 each, so that's $22 value. One is the adhesive back translucent dots, and another one's called dappled dots. You get that as well. In So if you pay for the $120, you get both of those as well. Long distance, you have to add shipping. I'm sorry. If you get just the ribbon, it's $5 extra for the ribbon shipping. If you get um, either the paper or the paper on the ribbon, it's an extra $20 because I have to send it through um, um, the Canada Post prepaid boxes. Um, yeah, so that's my paper and ribbon share. Now, when it comes to my classes, here's the first one that I'm doing. So June 28th, I had to, I just had to. I, I wasn't planning to ever do a class with online exclusive items, but this one is right up my alley. And would you like to see a beautiful card that I made with this? That is one of the cards in our class. Yeah, you do. You do. Trust me, you do. Look at this one. Now, this one I cased from Amy Condors, and it's stunning. Come on. Is that beautiful? I love it. It is one of the cards we're going to make in this class, the Magnolia, Magnolia Mood. So, it is June 28th. It's the first one on the roster, so that I can order it sooner than later. It's $95 because the bundle is so expensive. Uh, long distance, you have to add $10. $50 if you want just the stamp set and the class, 60 long distance. $40 if you have just the um, just the class, okay? So that's $40. So that's June 28th. That's the first one. Now the next one, let me show you. Country Birdhouse Bundle. All right. So this is... This is one of the stamp sets in the suite. This is the other one that's in the suite. We're going to do a class with this one. Okay. But this, and then this goes with that lacy paper and a whole bunch of other things and the lacy embossing folder and so on and so forth. This one is Friday, July 26. It's 85 porch pickup, 45 if you want just the stamp set, 40 if you want just the class. Add 10 for postage if you're long distance. This one's 40 regardless if it's um, long distance or local. And uh, so that's the class I'm doing here on whatever day I said, July 26th. I don't have Spotlight on Nature yet, and I don't have the Adventurous Sky Bundle yet. All right, I don't have those, so I can't show them to you. Uh, however, I'm going to show you a card now with this. Now, this is crazy, but this is this is one of the cards. So I made this this afternoon for my for my tutorial. So anybody who spends money with me 
no, anybody who spends $60 or more with me this month um, is going to get a copy of this tutorial. And this is the card I made with this little guy. I didn't even use this. Like you might think, oh, this is a real one trick pony because you know, you're just going to stamp a birdhouse. I used this little fella. Look at the sweetest little card with all our new ink colors. Huh? Huh? I love this so much made with the country birdhouse. Okay. And it's also made with the unbounded love dies. Now this is what Tracy and I, Tracy and I are very good at picking what um, bundles to put in our extravaganzas. This is the extravaganza one that we're using primarily. And you may have noticed in the catalog, two other of our choices have been carried over. So we're very good at choosing what's going to carry over. This is the, I just couldn't even, I couldn't stamp fast enough today to get that little card made. But anyway, I digress. Those are my classes. They're posted all over the place. Pay special attention down here. If you're demonstrators, I know Linda, you've already said, yeah, I'm doing that. Um, if you take all four of my classes only, because as demonstrators, most people will order their own product, you get free spending. So if you sign up for all of them, you're going to get $120 for the free spending. So it's all over the place though. I won't go into that right now. Country Birdhouse with matching dyes somewhere. Let me see the dyes. Oh, Tracy sees a gingerbread house. Yes, you could do. Of course, Tracy always looks, I don't know if Tracy drinks before she stamps or what, but she sees a lot of different things when she, uh, when she looks at stuff. <laughs> and where are my country birdhouse dyes though? Uh, in the grove. Hi, where are my dyes? Uh oh, they're not in the box. I took everything out of the box. Wait a minute, did I? Okay, well, somewhere there are dies that I'm going to have to find. They're not in here, are they? Yes, they are. Ugh. Okay, here are the dies. <laughs> I thought they were a bigger, the bigger ones. Okay, so here are all the pieces with the dies. Flowers, all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, so that's the country birdhouse. Okay. Country flowers. I I'm gonna use this one an awful lot, an awful lot. And here are the dies. Look at the little stool, the teapot, the jug, a planter. I love these ones. I love them. Country flowers. Okay, now this one I really hee hawed around for this one, the Flowers of Beauty. I thought, well, it looks really a lot similar, a lot similar. It looks a lot like the lavender set we've got. And I've got a lot like this. This is what sold me on it though, the dyes. Because these kind of dyes are amaze balls. because you don't need anything else. You can just slap that on and a stamp, sentiment, boom, you're done. So, but I have to get all of the, I have to get the whole bundle, right? So I'm sure, and then, you know, for envelopes and insides, I'll use it, but I really, I thought long and hard. I went, no, I really needed these two dies. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, fairy houses. I like that. Nice, Linda. Okay. So that's the flowers of beauty. Okay, here's the Unbounded Love. So this is what Tracy and I are using for extravaganza because you guys, come on, look at this stamp set. It has got a beautiful font for all of your sentiments. Hope, love, faith, peace. Um, you know, happy birthday to you and yours with sympathy. Friend, your love, celebrate, hello. Like, my heart goes out to you. All the things. This is amazing. And you get 16 dies. So, Come on, just do it. And let's look at that little card again. So sweet, so sweet. I love it. I love it. Okay. Next up. Okay, here's one. I have to put this back in the extravaganza box because I went to order it, um, but I'd order, ordered it for the extravaganza. So I have to wait on this one. But this is another, just a basic set that's great if you're just starting out in stamping. It's got all your bases covered thinking of you like these and these will fit in our you know circle punches they're a great size for that that they can work with our different shapes and sizes even those dies that we just uh i just threw back in the box so simply said okay that one has to go back in the extravaganza box okay this one I'm seeing lots of potential with this one the leaf collection it's just one it's one stamp you can, you can do lots of different techniques with it so getting back to the annual catalog They've got pages of stamping techniques. They have um, all kinds of uh, recipes and card layouts. 
that I totally plan to use for Mystery Card Monday. Um, so it's it's more of a, um, a tool than it is a catalog. Like it's not just a here buy our stuff. It's how to use our stuff. If you're a beginner stamper, if you're a more seasoned occasional stamper, or if you're a gotta have all the things stamper, it it's a different kind of catalog. It's it really is a tool now as opposed to just a, a magazine of catalogs of stuff. So um, I'm starting to find my way around it. I love it. Okay, so that's the leaf collection. And I keep touching. See, it's not scrolling again. So oh, that's okay, Jen. That's okay. There's not a whole lot. We're almost done here. It's 7.20. I didn't even think I'd be an hour long, but okay, this one, loveliest tree. Look familiar, people? Doesn't it look like um, lovely as a tree? And it's not, I mean, it's only got the one cent, the, the one big focal image, and this would be great for envelopes and sides, but it really, it's a great basic set. This is a perfect beginner set. Birthday, sympathy, congratulations, and thank you with a tree. It works for all of those. Boom, stamp, beautiful font. Love it. And this time there are dies. That was the problem with Lovely as a Tree. There were no dies. And this one has dies. You could do a quick fall card with these. Loved it. So I had to get that. Love the font. You know me. I'm a bit of a font maniac. Okay, Magnolia Mood. That one's not even in there. And then this is the last one, you guys. Um, in the Grove. So this one we've got similar we have um what carried over is uh this other one about a grove where is it uh hang on i moved everything around i should not have but i did so i don't know where anything else there's another grovey one i don't know where it went i don't know where it is I don't know where it is. Doesn't matter. It's in our anyway. Some about a grove. Anyway, same idea. Sceneries. So the oh look at your little bunny. Look look at look at and look at. So with any those scenery picture uh, papers that I just put back um, right here, like this is going to be a beautiful beautiful card. Can, oh, look at this die. Oh, yeah. This one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this is like mountainy, rangy things. Yeah. Grassy Grove. Thank you, Hope. Hi, Hope. Yes. So I had to get that one too because it's going to be fun. And I know this will work for winter. This will work for Christmas. This will work for all kinds of things. So I thought I'd get that one too. Um, I think that's it. That's all. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? I don't think so. I think that's it. I think that's all. I don't that's it. 723. Um, classes and paper share. If you're in Canada, I would be ever so pleased if you would register for these before the 25th. You have two weeks, two weeks, because two weeks and two days from now, I'm getting on a plane and I'm going to Mexico. Okay. And I need to have all my little duckies in a row. And that means I have to have, I have to know exactly what I'm going to order because my lovely friend Tracy uh, said she'd stay up till midnight and order some stuff. I might still do it in Mexico. They have a computer there um, and free Wi-Fi. So I might do it. I might do some, but I want to, I don't want to miss out. I don't want to wait to order my ribbon share and stuff because the papers could sell out and then we're all hooped. Don't want that. You got to order, got to order May 1st. So if you could let me know sooner than later, if you want into my, don't be sending me any money. Not until I ask you for it. Right. Um, uh, get it all in one shot. Diane, are you, you're not a dem uh, are you a demonstrator? If not, you should be. You could get this now. You could get all the stuff that we get um, on the pre-order in your starter kit. Um, yes, yeah, so what I started saying at the very beginning was when it comes to the annual catalog, we can only get a, a small selection. When it comes to our mini catalogs, we can get anything. We can get anything. Um, yeah, so those are a little bit more exciting. These ones we have to wait. So, but it's okay. It's okay. What would I do? Uh, like I would buy the entire catalog and then what would I do? I'd be paralyzed with too many choices. <laughs> but uh, yes, if you would fill in the registration forms that are all over the place. Uh, if you haven't requested a catalog, I haven't mailed them yet because I'm still working on just printing out. Um, oh, I get it, Diane. Yeah, budgets, right? I know. I know. Um, got to play the number game. If you can at least hit 200, then you get at least $20 worth of free spending. So you have to at least eke it out that way if you can. Um, yes, if you haven't requested a catalog, uh, 
I have forms for that too somewhere. It's in my newsletter anyway. Uh, click on that because I am mailing them out. What day is today? Thursday. Hopefully Monday, Tuesday at the latest um, because I'm printing off all the things. And it's a busy weekend. So tomorrow is Friday. I am going live tomorrow morning. Then I'm going to go visit dad. Now that he's so close again, it's not such a big a big ordeal to, to go visit him. So I'm going to pop over, see him. Um, Saturday, I have my team social in Mournville. So yeah, for that, I've, I've got everything prepped. I just have to pack it up. Um, and Friday night, uh, we've got a friend coming over Friday night, all the things. Sunday is our 20th wedding anniversary. So we might go to a movie. We might not like, I'm, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to celebrate in Mexico. So we might like, I gave him a handshake going, Hey, Thanks for marrying me for 20 years. <laughs> but anyway, there's lots going on this weekend. So I don't know how much I'm going to be doing to get my catalogs in the mail. But by, by Tuesday, for sure, I'd like to get them out the door and into your mailboxes. Um, porch pickup would be great if you're local, just because they cost, you know, five, six, seven, eight dollars to mail. Thank you, Diane. Hi, Luann. Thank you very much. Um, so that's it. My impromptu one hour Thursday Night Live I'm going to go hang out with my people now, I think. Um, they're back from grocery shopping for Grandpa. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10, 10 a.m. Tomorrow's Friday, right? 10 a.m. Mountain Time for Coffee Break, my virtual newsletter. And I'll go over just briefly what's going on in Stampin' Land. Um, so I'll see you then. Uh, have a great evening.